my name is Rabbi Ezra Weinberg, and I'm uh, connected with the Rabbi's Human Rights both here and uh, in Israel. Actually, my original um, connection to RHR was in Israel, living there for a couple years, being involved in some of their projects, like um, teaching English to the Jahalin Bedouin and uh, picking, ol picking uh, helping Palestinians with their olive harvest and planting olive trees and just uh, working in the field. I, I found it a very inspiring model of activism. And most of this was actually happening during the... Um, during the uh, Second Intifada, sort of the, the height of the, uh, the breakdown of the peace process, and I found that the Rabbi's Human Rights is one of the few, um, one of the few organizations uh, that was still going on. That was a lot, a lot. Uh, as someone I, with a background in conflict, peace building and conflict transformation, uh, I noticed that much of the uh, work cross culture, cross border work. By the bicommunal work between uh, Palestinians and Israelis was falling by the wayside and being defunded, and uh, a lot of the organizations were disbanding in that time. But Rabbis Human Rights, one of the few organizations that really stuck to their guns, and uh, not literally, <laughs> they, um, but they were one of the few organizations that really were committed uh, to continuing the, the, to cross boundaries and cross, not only cross boundaries, uh, uh, with Palestinians, but cross boundaries with Jews, and really, um, they, to me, embodied making uh, an Israel that I could be proud of.